Okay, Lenovo ThinkPad busted panel for a phone repair kit. <clears throat> Does the same job. Um, been dropped. You can see that. Big crack in the corner. Both sides actually. So, got board a replacement. Let's see what it's like. Make sure it's going through the line. We won't know exactly if we get the numbers. Okay. Right, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Start stooping the other one down. Okay. It's going to go in the corner gently and just. Well, I'm not too sure if they have to be heated up, whether it's um, sticky on the back. I don't, I do not know. So. There we go. Work your way down. Right, keep going and then along the top as well. Nice and gently. Okay. okay, I'll carry on with this. There's a little bit of glue, so just be careful. Taking it off, okay. Don't want to break it. Just take your time. Okay, pretty good. Put that to one side. Phew. Okay, so before we go any further, we'll look at on what we've got here and what we've got on the if we just want to take all these ribbons off, I think we're gonna have to flip it over and take the back off so we can get to all <clears throat> the internal wires going to the main board. So that's what we'll do next. I'm gonna put a bit of a, a cover on the screen like that. Move the lid down. I have got a spare screen, so I'm not too worried about that. So, I do all these screws, I think there's seven altogether, and it comes off quite easy. The, um, <clears throat> the screws are actually, I've uh, got a washer on the end of them, so they don't come all the way out. You can hear they stop. It work our way around. Front lifts off, back comes out. And here we go, I'll put that bezel with that over there as well. So you'll see these wires and the screen as well, all connected. It's all got to be changed so you can actually get to the fans and make sure they're clean as well. Our next job, we're going to flip back over under the screen and then we'll find out where they I think it's this one here for the screen. I'm pretty sure it is. Then we'll disconnect that and make sure that's out of the way. So under the screen, you've got a little screw underneath, hidden underneath this bits of tape. So you've got to pull the tape back and you'll see. There it is. Okay, and there's one on each corner. This one's already out at the bottom. So I'll undo them and then remove the screen. Screw safe. Keep, keep the tape as well. And there you go, it should be all four. Sorry, big hand in the way. I'm done. And there we go. 
So we can we can undo the screen actually from that to keep it safe. I think it's a 50 pin. So you pull back the tape carefully because you don't want you want to put this back. I'll just put you down for a sec. It's almost like a deep gorilla glue. And that just should just pop out in a second. And if you can see that, a, I'm zoomed in quite a bit. There's a bar here. It lifts up out the way. And there we go. So I'll put the screen safe to one side. And then we'll start having a look at the other connections on the back. Okay, because I haven't done these before, I'm going to undo the three screws that hold the hinge, which holds the back panel on, and then I can find out what wires go underneath and where they're connected. I can't actually see when I'm on, on when you turn it over. So you've got just three screws here to come out. Nice big flat ones. And we'll put them in the same place and then we'll get all three undone and come back to you okay <clears throat> so we've got a blue which is and the black which is be fine we've disconnected that already we've got an orange and a gray this end and also a large black one so we're going to know where that goes as well because I th that is probably the <clears throat> see that yeah yeah camera so I'll flip it back over and then we'll chase these wires back. I've got it nice and loose now. So this is the careful bit. You've got to be careful turning it over because you don't want to break any of the wires. So if you look at the new one you've got, you've got the, the orange wires. There we go. You've got the blue and the grey. And you've also got the camera connection with the tape on as well. So we're just going to follow these wires now on the main board, disconnect them, and then we're going to put this one back in exactly the same place. So we're going to flip it over, we're going to do exactly the same in reverse, okay? That's the idea. Do you want to pull the tape off carefully? Hold it on. And this one here. I'm looking at that's connected to be honest with you. This one here is a tricky one because it's actually glued at the back and then you've got this little, I don't know if you can see that, You've got this little tab that flips up and down, so you've got to lift that up. You'll be so careful. And then when we put it back, you push that back in up to the line. You can see the line there. And then it's got to be glued back down again, but the glue's good. So now we'll follow the orange wires and get them undone. As you can see, these go underneath the motherboard. This one's got to come out as well. And these go underneath this piece of black, I don't know what that does, so I'm going to have to look at that. So I'm going to take the battery out, which is pretty straightforward. It's just, here we go, so we got one, two, three, four, five screws. And then the power is connected to there and you can't go wrong, so I'll take it out. These, I think I might have to undo the motherboard, I'm thinking. I'll have a look. There's a tiny screw there. Don't forget to do this, you need a photographic memory. <laughs> I haven't got one. Right, okay. So we'll put him to one side. This one as well, which is one of the main board screws. Uh, 
I don't use a magnetic screwdriver, I don't want any damage. Right, let me have a quick look. And what I've done as well, I've, I've stopped the camera and I took a photograph of these wires just to make sure they're right because we got this is going to your, I think it's either the Wi Fi card. We need to peel that back a bit. So you need to remember which one goes to which, you see. So. And make sure it's underneath here. Alright. Pull them out. I just pulled the motherboard off there as well, so you've got to be careful. And they just pop out like that. There we go. The blue looks like it goes under the board, and so does the orange and the grey. But the grey's underneath this, so I need to look at that as well. On this one here, this is the cover for the SD card reader. So you've got to remove the SD card reader, and then the cover will lift off. It's called come off. There we go. That means we can get to the. That's better. Okay. So the next thing is just the motherboard. I'll undo the one screw, and I'm not trying to look for any more. I don't want to, have to take the whole board out. There should be no need to. Anyway, so I've just lifted the board up very, very slightly. Okay, that's removed. And there we go. I think that's all clear. Well, there's no need to remove that one. That could have stayed on. Okay. Put this one back in. Line up, push him right hard. I'll take these back in there. Okay. Not too sure where that goes actually. I can't see it goes like that, but we'll see. Tape, make sure it's pushed down nicely. And there's some more tape here. Remember, we took it off, so we have to put that back on. I'll hold it in place. I'm just going to put these back on, which is the connectors. These are this fiddly job. You can hear a noise in the background. That's my cat trying to get in. He taps on, they bang on the window and let me in, let me in. Here he is. Look, oh, it's snowing. That's why. <laughs> Little interlude in the video. Look at them. Watch. This is what they do. So if I let them in, they're going to be all over the table, so I have to be careful. Nope, not in there. Nope, not in there. Nope. 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 No, not in there. Oh. Look with all this on here. Right, let's carry on. Well, there you go. I'm just going to show you that. Mmm. Looks like it's here to stay as well. That's in the last hour, if that. Cool. So using the tweezers, just lift the board up. I did it from here. And these, the blue and the, the orange wire go behind, behind the actual screw hole. So it goes here, this side, underneath, of course. You have the two tiny silver screws we took out for the motherboard. And then these two just fall around. And I'll tuck them underneath this piece of plastic. And I'm going to put, if you look at the end, I'm going to take one off the other side because it hasn't got it on, just in case. Okay, now we'll flip it over and connect the bezel to the back, the back bezel. So when you put the bezel on, make sure you took all your wires in, out the way, and it fits quite nicely. You can't go wrong, really. It's just reverse. Oops. Put the big ones back in, and then we'll tuck these as they should be down the sides.
rapidly. tape I might take it off the other one to be honest with you. Screen back on, four screws in now. I'm going to put the front bezel back on and sticky make sure he sticks down properly. That's quite straightforward that is. Tucks underneath like so and then push him back down. Battery back in. Probably one of the easiest jobs to do. <laughs> Make sure all your motherboard connections are done. I've had to disconnect the board again, I forgot the card reader. And that's the last thing. That's him. And then lift that up. Okay, all done and working. I just show you some of the tools I used. Tweezers. This came with a, uh, a repair kit for a screwdriver. So a small posi drive. Okay, a parting tool and another small parting tool. Actually, really enjoyed it. Take care. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel immensely. No, we do not make hundreds and thousands of pounds. <laughs> we make a couple of bob, maybe just to pay some batteries and whatnot. Take care and we'll catch you in the next vid. All the best. Bye.